Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. My name is Doug Morton, and I'll be highlighting the advanced steel topic today. Throughout the following presentation, we'll be looking at the advanced steel folded beam tool. This option provides a versatile, easy to use tool that allows for the insertion of custom beam shapes, which can be immediately created on the fly and inserted while you are modeling. If you come to the Objects tab, near the top, you're going to see an icon just next to Column that says Folded Beam. When you left click on that, you can come in and you can select polylines, circles, or arcs. With that in mind, let's just do something quickly with a polyline. We'll come into here, and you're going to want to draw this at one to one. So let's just say four inches. I'll zoom in a bit. Polyline, and then I'll come across, we'll do eight, we'll come up four, and maybe we'll come back six or something, just to kind of give us an idea of what is possible, I'll come up one. So here I have a, a rough outline of a shape. Let's say this is the cross section of the shape that we want to create. What we can do at this point is we can come to the tool itself and choose polyline, pick that line, and what it's asking you for next is basically, where's the system line going to go? That red line that denotes how the object is inserted. Uh, a lot of times where measurements may be taken from. That red line that you see on your beams, the system line. So you want to pick a point on here where that system line is going to go. I'll just pick on that inside corner here. Once you've done that, now you're going to pick the start and end point as if you're inserting a beam. So you're going to come here, left click. That'll be your start point, let's say. And then wherever you want your endpoint to be, you left click again, and you'll see that the shape that you've just created is going to come in. The system line, as denoted here, was the point that we selected. Now you can place this wherever you like. And at the same time, now that it's in, in here, you have a couple of options. You can say the point that we inserted by is the inside or it's the outside. You can see how it shifts over. Or you can say that was the center of the object. So the system line does make a difference on what is going to be the thick, not the thickness of it, but rather the placement of it inside, outside, or justification of it. What is the thickness is right below. And you can come in here and you can specify, I want that to be a certain thickness. Um, you also have points in here. And you'll notice on the screen, one, two, three, four, five, six, kind of in the way that we've drawn the line from start to end. Uh, you can then decide maybe at point number two where we put that, or maybe point number three at the top here. You can come in and you can say, I want this to be a uh, quarter inch radius. And you'll see that it comes in with that radius. So you can set a radius for every point that you're interested in. So it's not necessarily a sharp angled object. So once you've done that, you're going to end up with the shape that you're looking for. You can then say positioning. Maybe you wanted it rotated the other way. And you can see that'll turn it around. Mirrored, same as what you would normally do with the shapes when you create them. So when you place them in, you're going to choose your offset. You're going to choose your angle, if you want it mirrored or not. All right. So you have these options in here. The naming itself, you can still do numbering with it. You have the same options that you would have for a B, model roll, lot phase, and all of that. Your fabrication data, user attributes 1 to 10, how things are displayed. So if you need to show features, exact, symbol, you know, and so on and so forth, you can come in and you can show that. The behavior itself, do you want it showing up for numbering? Do you want it being used in lists? You have the option, same as with regular shapes, and it gives you some general properties about that shape. So very quickly, very easily, you can generate just about any steel shape you want. Now, this does not save it to a, a database, so it's not going to be part of your library. It's just one of those things, if you need something very quickly on the go that's not created, that you're not going to use all the time, and you need to place it in, you have the ability with the folded beam option to place in a shape by drawing the cross section, picking where the system line goes, and then drawing it in like a regular beam.
Thank you and have a great day.